So our first speaker from Duquesne University. And he is Charles de Gaulle Gomez. Charles. Thank you very much. Um, in a moment, I would request you all close your eyes. Let us imagine the beautiful moments that we shared with our fellows at our various universities. The dinner we had with our host families. See the smiles on their faces. Experiencing the diverse culture of America. The tall, beautiful buildings let me take you back to Pittsburgh, a city surrounded by bridges, a beautiful city. Open your eyes. I would like to ask you a question. Now, this scene that we had in our mind, will it just vanish away when we become blind? This was my great fear. When I heard that I am partially sighted. It had never occurred to me about the potentials and the capability of the visually impaired until I met Ali Ujaite, a Kantari graduate and a blind person. Ali is my director today, and he was a Mandela Washington Fellow of last year. Through him, I realized that blindness does not have to stop us from becoming who we would like to be. But before I met Ali, I would like to take you through the journey of my life. After completion of secondary school, I wanted to pick a job as a journalist. But employers were not willing to employ me because I am partially sighted. And they were afraid in the event I become blind, I will be of no use to them. I lost hope. I thought I was not going to make it in life. It all occurred. 15 solid but trying years ago, when I was in primary school. In school, my colleagues will call me Gumbo, which in my local language means a blind person, even though I am not blind. But I managed to go through all this. Visually impaired, I faced with a lot of challenges, not only in the Gambia, but Africa and the world at large. Discrimination and marginalization has been a major challenge for the visually impaired. They are seen as incompetent by the society and as a body by their family members. They could only dream of having a family and living an independent life. But one thing the society fails to understand is that it is not what we visualize with our eyes that makes us or enables us to be creative, innovative, but every idea and every innovation is as a result of the brain, which each, which each and every visually impaired possessed. My story is like that of any visually impaired out there. My project, I named Jump High has come to pave a way for the visually impaired to realize their potentials. <coughs> Jump High is a project that will be working in three different areas. First, Jump High will build the self-esteem of the visually impaired by empowering them with training on public and communication skills, mobility and orientation, daily living skills, independent living skills, interview techniques, CV writings, so that they can go outside there and challenge the status quo of the society. And second, Jump High is a project that will lobby with the government and corporate NGOs to place visually impaired into various capable 
jobs in areas of their interest. And the third one, Jump High, is a project that will transform the mindset of the society through advocacy by confronting them with their prejudice towards the visually impaired. Imagine a society where the word blind is not seen as a cause, but just as a description. Imagine a society where blindness is not seen as a limitation, but as a different way of living. Imagine a society where the blind is president. Ladies and gentlemen, to achieve all this mindset change, we have to jump high for a better future. Thank you.